leads into this. Um, I, think she was, I, think, I think she was the one who was so beautiful that she had hundreds of suitors coming to try and marry her. I think. Kia ora, good afternoon. A national state of emergency has been declared as Cyclone Gabrielle causes destruction right across the North Island. Officials warning the situation is unfolding minute by minute, with some communities cut off, many having to flee their homes and power out to many too. I believe we're going right now to Prime Minister Hipkins speaking this moment. Island. Uh, I want to acknowledge the uh, situation that New Zealanders have been waking up to this morning. A lot of families displaced, uh, a lot of homes without power, uh, extensive damage done uh, across the country. It will take us a wee while to get a handle on exactly what. A lot of this moisture that's sitting up in some of the range is still coming down and they mentioned that high tide. We have to watch for that as well as you get towards the end of today. Still a lot to monitor. Thanks very much for that, Dan. Let's bring you up to speed with the latest information. 225,000 people are without power across the country. Vector has confirmed around 44,000 households in the Auckland region remain without power. People are still trapped in homes and cars in Hawke's Bay. The New Zealand Defence Force has deployed there to help with rescues. Hawke's Bay and Gisborne are expected to be without power, not for hours, but days, if not weeks. And phone coverage is still patchy in parts of the regions. Gisborne Hospital has confirmed it's running at limited capacity on backup generators. In Auckland, Wellsford, Muriwai and Helensville, they're all being urged to reduce water use immediately. Crews are working at pace to remedy water supply issues. Water can still be used for drinking and washing hands, but not for washing machines and dishwashers. In Muriwai, one firefighter is still missing following a landslide overnight. Police have cordoned off the area. And Met Service says Cyclone Gabrielle, which is currently north of East Cape, is expected to continue moving slowly southeast. Heavy rain, damaging winds are still battering parts of northern and central New Zealand, while large waves and storm surges are affecting coastlines around the North Island. Thank you for being with us, One News Special. The Te Karere team's here next with more on Cyclone Gabrielle. Then we'll see you back here at 4.30, right through until the news hour at 6, with special coverage. Until then, kia homaru. Stay safe.